And Namibia joined the rest of the globe in celebrating the World Tourism Day under the theme Tourism and Rural Development. President Hagi Gengop in a tweet said that the day is a reminder about the urgent need to promote sustainable tourism, grounded communities and to protect the environment. The UN World Travel Organization says amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the day represents an opportunity to rethink the future of the tourism sector. Joining us on the line is the Minister of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, Bohamba Shifeta. Very good afternoon to you, sir, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Honourable Minister, this year has proved to be a huge challenge for the sector, not only locally but internationally as, as, as well. How can it contribute to the sustainable development goals through its social, cultural, political and economic value going forward, especially uh, post-COVID-19? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we know that uh, 27 of September is here. It's World Tourism Day. And uh, this year's uh, day theme uh, we are commemorating is uh, rebuilding tourism in a safer, equitable, uh, climate-friendly way. Uh, tourism today, globally, has been among the very sectors that have been hard hit by the pandemic, uh, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, if we are talking now, no any other country in the world has been unaffected by this pandemic. And the tourism is one of those sectors that has been hit hard. Um, uh, we, we, we have the restrictions on travel and also that means that a, a drop in uh, not only in those travelers, but also number of travelers, but also in a consumer demand, uh, which then, of course, led to many other challenges, uh, such as um, the international tourism numbers dropped uh, drastically uh, to almost uh, just uh, five percent or even less than that. And a couple of months ago, we had none travelers um, uh, for two or three months. They were not to go traveling, uh, international traveling. So it means that uh, in terms of tourism, mm -hmm. um, and uh, that uh, affected tourism so much that uh, we have um, many job losses in the world, in the sector of tourism, and also some businesses closed closed completely due to this pandemic. Uh, and also at the same time, we, 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 the destinations mostly reliant on tourism for jobs and the economic growth uh, likely had a hit, which then caused uh, many um, uh, people employed and also the employers in this sector uh, facing these very challenges. Uh, the tourism crisis is also a threat, uh, not only tourist, not only to tourism, but also to our wildlife conservation initiatives we have in Namibia, and also to our uh, um, heritage sites, uh, which has been some of them have been closed, and uh, some of those uh, uh, jobs in those sectors have been completely lost. Uh, the revival, which is a challenge also that uh, we are now trying to revive uh, some of this uh, sector to come on on board. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, we have also world cultural heritage that has been closed because the protection of this cultural world, uh, world cultural heritage has been a challenge. Uh, some have been closed. 90% of world heritage sites have been closed as well as a result of this pandemic. Um, and also some of the humanity, cultural heritage, they become, uh, they, 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 are, they are now at risk uh, all over the world. Mm. Um, the opportunities, I think this also, this pandemic also presents some um, new opportunities to rethink and a new and 
the future of the tourism sector, uh, given that uh, we had experienced this uh, challenge of this pandemic. Now we can now see what can we do yeah. to make sure that uh, this uh, tourism uh, contributes to the sustainable development goals mm. uh, through many other uh, social or cultural, political or economic bodies. Honorable Minister, perhaps uh, one of the, the, the things that were mentioned in, in, by many of the people running tourism establishments, establishments is that it's a, it's a great opportunity to, to now boost local tourism. As we know in the past, uh, many locals have complained about the high prices at some of these establishment, uh, establishments, and, but COVID-19 has now somehow presented an opportunity for locals to also experience uh, what would otherwise be experienced by people coming from, from other countries. Uh, what is your word of advice to, to, to Namibians and as far as you know, their contribution to saving the, the sector is concerned? Your phone, I mean, your line is breaking up. Your phone is, uh, can you just repeat again? Yes, I was saying in the past, lo locals, Namibians in general, have complained about the high prices of uh, going to these establishments. And, uh, but uh, as we can see, COVID-19 has now somehow also uh, uh, presented an opportunity for locals to, to now go to these establishments where otherwise so they were only frequented mostly by, by foreigners because now the, the prices of accommodation has been uh, lowered. Uh, how do you think locals can play a, a role in, uh, in, in, in uh, reviving the tourism sector? Yes. Uh, as you might recall, as you may recall that um, on the 21st, I think 25th of August, I launched the tourism revival protocols uh, and we put up a strategy to revive the, our tourism, which uh, commenced on the 1st of September this year. Uh, this is to promote, uh, this was to promote uh, and enhance safety tourism in Namibia. We have done so to ensure that uh, we project our our, our, our destination as a safe destination, uh, a safe market. Uh, I mean, to our to our to our market, uh, you know, we have a market all over the world, and uh, most of these markets are very important markets to our tourism. So we need to project our uh, destination as a safest one, so that travelers must be able to trust that Namibia is, um, has um, put up the necessary safety measures uh, in order to welcome them so that when they come here, they feel safe. Uh, some of the establishments um, in Namibia have been closed. Some are still closed. Some are now reopening because we have uh, reopened um, our borders, especially through our Hosea Kutaku International Airport. We have um, a flight have been coming to Namibia, um, and uh, also the number of tourists are, 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 are doubling every, almost every week. So as you know that this is our, our, our peak time, our peak season, uh, September to December. So we feel that uh, although we are not going to get the number we used to get, because this time, September to December, we get uh, more tourists than any other season. Uh, we got almost uh, more than 34% of tourists they come this time from international travelers, the international tourists, they come this time, uh, December, September to December. But we, we are targeting a number, even not, of course, close, probably not close to 30%, um, uh, but uh, we think that uh, we'll be able to get the number of tourists. Uh, given that we work on our on the safety, we put uh, safety measures in place in Namibia so that uh, they feel all the tourists when they come to Namibia, they feel safe. Mm. Mr. Pamba, thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for your time. And we can only uh, hope for the best and uh, also hope that uh, each and every one of us will be able to make a contribution to the revival of this very important sector. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Minister of Environment and Tourism, Puhamba Chifeta, talking to us about the current state of affairs as far as the local tourism sector is concerned. Moving to South Africa.